Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to keep working on our Pro Tools tutorial videos and we're going to be demonstrating how to use the link, track, and edit selection functions from this program. So in the previous tutorial we talked about uh, the tap to transients as well as the link timeline and edit selection. Now there's another one that links the track with the edit selection. Uh, once again, this is one of those functions that my recommendation is that you always have on, okay? Uh, by on, I mean set to blue. When it's blue, it's on. When you click on it and it turns to gray, you just disengage that function. So now it won't take effect. My recommendation, you always leave it on. So what does this do? What, what this does is that it'll link whatever you have selected with that track. So for example, uh, right now I have a piano track, a kick track, and a kick two track. Now the piano track, um, it's a virtual instrument, and I have some MIDI notes there, and then I have two audio tracks labeled as kick and kick two. So what happens here is, let's say that I click and drag something on that kick two audio track, and I select an area of that clip. Well, since I'm selecting there, I'm selecting audio information from that track, that track just got selected. As you can see, it's highlighted. Now, if I do the same thing on the first kick track, kick, regular kick, just label as kick, I click and drag, now that track is selected. Now, if I do a selection across multiple tracks, like, for example, that, now I have kick and piano selected. This is useful because you can toggle between edit views and things like, uh, sorry, between track views and things like that. So if you toggle that, it'll change it on both. Now, you can do it on all three tracks at the same time, and as you can see, all three are selected. You can also do things as, for example, you click and drag on one track, and then you toggle between tracks by clicking on their names, and it'll be the same selection in all three. Now, if that's off, that function is off, you could be selecting an area of a track and then clicking on another so yes your edit selection is set to you know from here to here on an instrument track but your actually selected track is the kick two track which is an audio track so they won't be linked to each other and you know for things that are like track associated functions like toggling the track view um, you won't take advantage of that so once again my recommendation is that you always have this on so your edit selection and your tracks are linked and associated. So that was the link track and edit selection function in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs, and we're going to be happy to help you. We will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using... All of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.